my top 15 pike lures. Stay tuned. Hey guys, my name's Guy Elson. Welcome back to The Occasional Angler. We do tips, trips and advice for all you anglers out there who are born to fish but forced to work. So, I've come down to my local lake. I've brought an absolute load of lures and I've also got some interesting filming equipment so we can do a bit of filming from above and under the water as well. So, let's get into my mega lure review. The Savage Gear in Line Roach. This is a really nice lure, very well balanced. It's got a very over-exaggerated movement in the water, um, which attracts a lot of attention. It comes in loads of different colors, ranging from natural to quite garish. It's a shame that it doesn't have a stinger hook. Savage gear inline trout. Again, very much like the inline roach, it moves through the water amazingly well, looks very realistic, amazing range of colours. You can change the way it swims by altering where the wire leader comes out of the front. Great for big pike. An extra bonus with this is it's got the stinger hook. Rapala Super Shad Wrap. This is a real classic lure. Um, it's a floating lure. Um, the way to really get the best out of this is a kind of jerk and then let it rise back up. Really great over shallow grasses um, where there isn't much water. Um, it's got a really nice wobble through the water as well um, and it can come in a range of different colors from quite garish fire tiger colors all the way through to natural colors. Storm live kicking shad. So this is one of my go-to lures if nothing else is working. One of the problems is that it is quite a light lure so it doesn't um, tend to cast particularly well. The one major thing about this is it's very cheap, it looks very realistic in the water and because it's small it almost always gets a good hook up. Um, it's just a brilliant lure, a definite must for any serious pike angler. Sibylle Magic Swimmer. This is a real classic lure again, it's a hard bodied uh, lure. It's got those joints which allow it to sort of have that snake like movement through the water. A really effective method with this is to give it these little jerks like the last throws of life in a fish and then let it pause and sink down. It comes in a range of different colours, anything from these garish fire tigers all the way through to natural colours and they're very widely available. Lundberg Stalker. Well, good luck trying to find one of these. Unfortunately, this lure um, designer died, um, I heard. But, um, wow, did he make a good lure. This is my absolute favorite jerk bait. Um, it's perfectly balanced, it turns on a dime. It's got loads of presents. Um, just a brilliant lure. I love this jerk bait. I always get this out when times are going tough. Mike the Pike from Westin. This is a very big lure. 
um, very heavy, you're not going to be wanting to cast this all day. Um, that said, it creates a lot of disturbance in the water, it can't be missed. Um, and if you're out there looking for really big pike, this is a very, very good choice. Um, it's got that second stinger, which always helps with hookups. Um, and you can, uh, because it is a hybrid with a hard head and a soft body, you can mix and match the, the head with different colours. Savage Gear 4D Rattle Trout. Okay, so another classic. Um, this is a very, very good lure. Um, it's got an amazing tail action and uh, body wobble. Um, always gets a lot of attention. Um, they're cheap and available everywhere, which is another, another really good point. Um, my only one downside with this is it does sink through the water quite quickly. But, I mean, in a fast-moving river, that's really good. On a lake, it's fine as well, but you just got to keep it moving. Wolf Creek Skinny Wolf. Uh, these, again, absolutely amazing jerk bait. Uh, turns on a dime, the body rolls every time with that as well. Um, it's a lovely bait, a lovely jerk bait. Um, it's big, uh, but I quite like that. Um, and it's quite heavy, so it casts well. Um, they go all the way through from quite garish colours through to natural colours. I think this is a carp pattern. Um, and yep, just extremely well made. Very, very good. And they are available as well. Mega Bass Mag Slow L. Right, this is a great lure, I love this lure. Um, the great thing about this lure and the reason I love this so much is I can bring, it's so well balanced in the water, it doesn't sink that quickly, so I can just drag it along really slowly. Um, because the nose sits down as well, it stops the hooks uh, hooking up on the bottom. Um, it's got an excellent uh, release system for the hook which um, works every time. Just a really nice lure. Unfortunately, not freely available in the UK. Um, you can get them on eBay though. Fox Replicant. So there's a load of new versions of this which have got much sort of higher quality finishes on them, but to be quite honest with you, this catches pike really well. Um, it's got a very, very sort of strong tail action and body roll, um, which will get the pike going straight away. It's got two hooks, so you always get a good hook up. Um, you've got the top hook and the stinger on the bottom. It comes in tons of different colours and they're freely available and cheap and they're quite durable. Daiwa Pro Rex Trout. This is my favourite go-to uh, swim bait. It's uh, it's hard to explain. It's just got it's got a very realistic uh, finish to it. The body wobble is very very tight and it tracks very straight. It's got that hot tail at the back, which is a strike point for pike. It's got the stingers, which always get a good hook up. Just an excellent lure. Really well weighted. Westin Persty the Perch. Again, this is one of my favourite lures. It's a bigger lure, a little bit cumbersome to, um, to cast, but it's, it's okay. Um, it does sometimes catch up, but its body movement and its finish are just amazing. Brilliant, brilliant lure. Um, again, when times are, are tough, I get this lure out, and if anything's going to happen, it'll happen with this. It's got an amazing movement through the water um, and again you've got the facility to change the soft body at the back. Tons of different colours as well and freely available. Western Ricky the Roach. Like um, the other Westerns, uh, this is a hybrid lure so it's got a hard head, soft body so you can replace the body. Loads of different colours, freely available in the UK. Um, got brilliant movement. The only one thing I would say is this is a slightly smaller lure so on heavier bait casting setups it's not so easy to cast um, but it's brilliant brilliant lure. 
um, it will tend to catch the smaller pike or attract smaller pike because it is a smaller lure. So the Sabile Stick Shad. This is the 155 suspending version. I'm not so interested in the floating or the sink fast sinking version. Um, this lure just suspends lovely in the water. So you can give it a jerk and then just let it sit and it won't go diving down to the bottom. And that's when you always get takes. It wasn't running very well today. I don't know what was going on. Um, it didn't make a particularly good performance of itself in this video, but a brilliant lure. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe below. We really appreciate that. Um, I'd love to hear your comments as well. So please leave your comments below in the comments section. Um, all the products which I've used, um, I've listed below in the description as well. So if you want to get any of them, um, they're down below. And until next time, best of luck with your own fishing adventures.